In today's video, we are having a food toy face-off. I'm going to take you through a comparison between the Tugging Off Clam and a toy from Premier Pet Products called the Rip and Tug Toy. Both are food toys, both are very different in design. Let's see which one wins in the food toy face-off. I'm Anna Laurie, welcome to the Genius Canine YouTube channel. If you're just finding us for the first time, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. A few years ago, there were some products introduced into the dog training market, which included food toys, which were pretty much unheard of. And really, I don't ever played with like tug toys and frisbees and those types of things. These types of things didn't exist. So when they came along, I was super interested because one of my dogs was so interested in food over any kind of tug, competitive type of play. She really came alive when it came to food. So I was really interested when these came on the market. Now they've been on the market for a few years and I am gonna take you through each individual toy, show you what they look like, show you how you use them and how they work. And then I'm gonna give you my verdict at the end on which I think is the better of the two. Without further ado, let's dive in. So first up, we've got the Rip and Tug toy. Now this, years ago, used to be called a Lotus Ball. I think it's been called a lot of things. I think you'll find it on the market called something else as well by a different company, but essentially they all look the same. The Lotus Ball name actually sticks with me because it does look like a little bit of a lotus flower effect when you open it up. It's sort of three leaves that open up fully. Now all of those have a Velcro sticky section so that when you do close it up, it sticks to itself. And the idea is that you place some food in the center. I just use bits of my own dog's food. Sometimes it's kibble, sometimes it's something a little bit more tasty than that, but I'll just use what I've got. You close it up and then you can throw this like a toy, like a ball. They can run up to it, open it up with their nose, with their paws, get into the center and then eat the food out of the middle. Now, a lot of people will highlight that there's a problem with that. You've thrown the toy, your dog has gone over, have opened it up and they've taken the food. Once they've got the food, they're no longer interested. How do I get my toy back? And actually, there's a way to introduce any of these toys that introduces these things gradually. And we teach the dog, actually, yes, you'll get food out of the middle, but sometimes if there's no food in the middle, if you bring the toy to me, I'll put food in the middle for you. Then you get a dog that will fetch the toy to you for you to put more food in. So you can actually mix it about. So you can start off with just putting food in the toy. You could even just have it close to you and just build up real desire. My dog goes a bit crazy, even on the sound of the Velcro opening up because she now knows that that means the food toy is here and we're gonna play. What I have found with this particular toy is that the outer is made up of this kind of nylon, uh, it's almost like a webbing type of thing. It feels pretty tough and it's not too bad. Within that is a, almost like a cotton wool like filling. Once the dog's teeth pierce this, the cotton wool starts to kind of come out of the middle. And that can happen pretty quickly. Um, and I have, I have bought these in the past and I've found that to be the case. But there's some other cool features about it in that you don't always have to put food in it. So if you've got a non-foody dog who just loves to retrieve, this is a small size and they come in different sizes. So this is for a really small dog, but you can get bigger ones. You can open them up and when the label's not attached to it, you can throw it. And it's actually pretty much like a Frisbee. So it's actually quite a cool toy in that it's pretty versatile and it's a lot of fun. The dogs really do love it. My only criticism overall is how hard wearing it is. So if a dog picks it up, even though they're not a chewer, if they pick it up, 
and it's not too long before I need to replace this because now the stuffing's starting to come out of it and I really don't want stuffing coming out of any of my toys so I'll look to replace that at that point. And in the past I've had to do that fairly frequently with these and at 10, 15, 20 pounds per toy, I prefer to have something that's a bit longer lasting, harder wearing. So great toy, really great food toy, don't rule it out but something to be aware of. Next on the food toy face-off, the tugging off clam. Now, when you first see this, it does come in a lovely box and really nice packaging. When you first see it, it looks pretty uninspiring. It's like a giant soft Smarty, if you've ever had those from the sweet shop. Um, but essentially, here's how it works. The reason it's called a clam is because it's a bit like a shell. It opens up like a clam. So same idea here. We've got nice Velcro patches here. It's got a really nice kind of double stitched seam around the side, around the outside. And this kind of little diamond shaped pocket in the middle, which is really quite a neat part of the design. So you can actually fit something quite substantial in there if you really want to, if you've got a bigger dog, something like that. The idea is you open it up, you put food in the centre and you can see straight away it can hold quite a bit. You don't have to fill it up or anything like that, you squash it shut and then again you can throw that toy for the dog. And the same principle applies, they can go out, they can open it up, they can get the food from the inside. And the same complaint I've heard from, from people is, you know, but once they've got the food, they're not interested in the toy. And it is just simply because there's a piece of the foundation of the food toy play puzzle missing. And that is, if there's nothing in it, hand it to me and I'll put some food in it and you can get the food out of it from there. Once they learn that, then your food toy game changes completely. So really cool, groovy colors and they do come in different color combinations. Cleverly thought out so that the dogs are, can see these colors. That's quite important because dogs don't see the same colors we do. So the pick colors that, that dogs can see better. I have had these for years, literally since they came out. I've never had one, a single one of them yet that has split open, burst open, no stuffing come out of it. In theory, I have never had to replace them. I do have three or four of them. You probably only need one. Two is always good, but over the years I've acquired more as is often the case, but I have never had to replace a single one of them. I have put them through the washing machine. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but it's come out great and it's not been damaged at all. Sometimes when we play in the dirt or the dust, and it's the same with the other toy as well, these can get a bit full of, you know, grit, sand, dirt, whatever, grass. And, and bit by bit, the stickiness of the Velcro can reduce. Now, that's okay. If you've got a slicker brush, get a slicker brush, get the bits out of it, give it a rinse in some cold water, get rid of the grit and the, let it dry. You're good to go. It's back sticky again, and it's good as new. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So although it doesn't look on the face of it as perhaps as pretty as this might do sitting on the shelf in a toy store, this for me wins by a long way. A few reasons, the amount of food that I can put in the middle, how hard wearing it is and the fact that I've never had to replace a single one of them and how well they clean up as well. So if I want to wash it, clean it, it's good as new again. And I've found I've had to replace a lot of these in the past. My top tip is if you're gonna go for any of these, get the right size for your dog. My only criticism of the clam, as far as I know, is it only comes in one size. For most medium dogs, it's perfect. For a big, big dog, it's okay. For a small dog, really small dog, toy dog, they might find it a little bit big, but they will manage. Ideally, you know, going further down the line, perhaps if they come out with alternative sizes, then for the moment, these are really good. I highly, highly recommend them. I'll put a link in the description below so you can get either of these. I do have an affiliate link for Tug Enough Toys. I would never recommend any toys I don't use myself and highly recommend. I use them in all my interactive play videos and they do a wide variety of toys. So I do highly recommend them. These are good. Clam is better. 
So the food toy face off. For me, the clam wins. Hands down, these are the best food toys where it's just purely for dogs who love food and they love to play with food. And this was an absolute game changer for me and one of my dogs. We went from a dog that really struggled to engage during interactive play to a dog that absolutely loves interactive play with something like this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button and click the subscribe button too. Make sure you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you in the next video.